awesome viewers, welcome to AC Studio. In the last video, I have reviewed the Joy Toy Horus Heresy Imperial Feast the Spoiler Scott. And now in this video, I'm gonna look at the Breacher's Scott. I got two figures, one is with the Thunder Hammer and the other one with the Graviton Gun. In fact, I'm actually quite excited with these two figures. I think these two figures look really, really good. Um, and also, it comes with the shield as well. And also, what makes these, you know, Space Marine unique to me is because they are the Vanguard Force. And they are also specialized in boarding actions on, you know, enemy warships or, you know, spaceships. So that is why they have the shield and the close quarter combat weapons, you know, to, to perform their tasks. Let's have a look at the box and then open it. You see the box art, you know, of the Space Marine definitely looks bad. I also noticed that, you know, if you look closely, the rivet is actually not highlighted as per the uh, the spoiler score. So if you look at the, the spoiler score, right, you see the rivet, the painting. They actually apply all these rivet painting on it. You know the brown wash on it. And this one, they did not do that on the box art. Maybe they kind of tell you, look, we're not going to do that anymore. But this photograph was probably taken a little bit earlier than this. So they at that time they're probably thinking, yeah, well, let's do all the wash, but. You know, eventually they decide not to. So that's why they change their mind there, right? Huh. Anyway, this is just my guess. Don't take it too seriously. And then at the back, you can see they got so many accessories. That's pretty exciting, right? And same as that one. All right, I cannot wait. Let's open it. Let's have a look at the accessories first before we look at the figures. So they both got the same sets of uh, exchangeable hands. I'm not gonna go through the details. You know, you watch my Despoiler Scott video on the exchangeable hands. And both provided with a, um, I think it's a bolter and a pistol. Very skinny bolter. Um, actually skinnier than the 40K bolter. But of course, this is an early version of the bolter. Looks really good. And again, as per the Despoiler Scott video, I say this is, you know, not see-through, but if not see-through, then you know it should paint black on the muscle, and same as that one as well. But otherwise, looks pretty good. So this one is actually the same as the one provided in the the Spotter Scott. And in that video, I mentioned that they did not put any highlighting. You know, the grey highlighting on the black. So this is just a very plain color: silver, gold, black. That's it. Nothing more. And then you have provided with a gun sleeve, uh, which got the. Uh, this motor or pistol in it, all right? And also on the uh, body itself, we already got a cartridge and also uh, a sleeve without the uh, gun. And they should paint it black inside because there's nothing inside. Anyway, and that also applies to this figure. It's ex exactly the same, you know, uh, sleeves and the cartridge. And then this figure comes with the Graviton gun. So the Graviton looks really, really cool. Uh, I really like it um, and, whoops. This part comes off, so they probably did not put enough glue on it. But anyway, you can put the glue on it by yourself just to fix it. Gun detail looks really cool. They do not have lighter green color on the uh, this kind of like light features on it. But otherwise, it looks alright. Um, same as the red. At least they paint the bolts or rivet in silver color. Yep, very nice, very precise as well. Or the color. They also give a little bit of copper weathering on this thingy here, right? This is kind of like highlighting or weathering, which I've never seen in Jotoy figures before. Copper there, copper there, and now on the muscle here, it should be black. So, but anyway, see the seam line or the mole line is actually quite obvious. Same as that one, but anyway, this is a toy, so this is expected. And then um, this figure, the sergeant, actually have the uh, Thunder Hammer. So this could be an ancient or the early version of Thunder Hammer, which is very different from the 40k Thunder Hammer. The detail looks pretty standard. At least the silver, they have a black wash on it. This pipe looks good, highlighting on the uh, raised edges with silver. Surprisingly, I think on the black handle, it doesn't look like a plain black color. They actually put a bit of uh, dry brushing silver on it, which is pretty good because it's a long handle. If they don't put any weathering on it, it doesn't look good. And then the most important accessories, of course, is the shield. God, look at this shield. It's absolutely amazing. And surprisingly, this thing at the back, this is actually a soft rubber piece. So this is the first I've ever seen them doing that on shield as well, on Jota shield. So that is interesting. And there is a handle here, so you can put a hand onto it. 
and this belongs to the sergeant and this belongs to the uh, other figure and these decorative kind of like edges looks really nice really well painted with a silver color on it and a shiny silver as well um, and it got all the mini money details on it and then you can see the imperial fist in Sydney here looks very nice everything looks really good it is a big shield by the way got a bit of weight on it but it's not too heavy so i'm quite sure the figure can hold it um the sergeant's one as well you can see there's a hammer thingy it's the same shield as the, the other one and then you got this really nice arch uh, inverted arch and this is because i'll show you later the figure can hold the shield and then shoot at the same time through this gap here and in the back there's not much details on the back here um so it's just really plain yeah, uh, shield here but otherwise looks pretty good on the front and now I'll put this on the figure and then show you how it looks like together with the figure so I put this through here I think uh, and then I oh, actually uh, put this out first and then put the hand into the handle first then put it here like that back in there all right all right done and I like the rubber strip because it actually make this more stabilized and it doesn't rely on the hand and the wrist ball joint and then it will never fall which is really good the design looks really cool as well like that as well like that as well that's really good so give it a full protection and then here as well let me put the uh, hammer what I really like about this exchangeable hand which I did not mention in my last video that it is actually on a soft plastic medium soft plastic not very very soft but soft enough that you can actually easily put the handle into the hand and and then you can put this into ball joint easily so I really like doing that it's actually very really easy to do all right so that is how you put the shield and um, the accessories into the hand as same as that one the gun you put it in the hand easily done very easy I really like it actually I like the way Jota designed this now a soft plastic hand which exactly what I mentioned like you know two years ago in my video they should do that they shouldn't change it to hard plastic on the hand and then what you do with this figure uh, try to do exactly what I've done on box art right put this through the uh, reverse arch on the uh, on the shield like that I try to do the same pose as the box art like that looks so cool isn't it all right, so both figure looks really, really good. Oh God, I got a bad feeling that I'm gonna get addicted to this new series. So these are the figures with all the weapons on the hand. Of course, you can exchange it with the uh, you know, guns. So you got this like, bolt as well, the gun as well. Look really good. And then you can actually do that as well through the gap, like that. So you give them maximum protection, like that. Looks really, really cool. My God, I love it. In my last video on the Despoiler Scott, I've already went through all the details of the armor. So I'm basically not going to go through that. And same as articulation, it's virtually the similar figures as the Despoiler Scott, which I got here. Um, but if you look at the details of the Sergeant, uh, of the Despoiler Scott and the Sergeant of the Breacher Scott, right? And if you look at the body armor detail here for these two figures, it is pretty much the same. Same issues as I mentioned in my previous video as well. You know, this metallic color on this centerpiece is not that good not as good as 40k but otherwise you know the uh, metallic color on the on the eyes on the lens looks really good it's actually shiny right and also if you look at the details virtually it's the same you know everything's the same the head sculpt is actually the same as well and then at the back it is almost exactly the same except the uh, backpack but the backpack has been used in other two figures as well it is the same as the uh, Despoiler Scott backpack as well so which is just the same it's just swap this backpack with the sergeant that's all and then on this figure as well as compared to this Despoiler Scott marine as well you see the you know uh, chest piece is exactly the same piece as well no differences except the helmet so this one got the uh, holes on the face armor and this one uh, is different it doesn't have it which is good give a bit of variation and the hand have the insignia that this one defined as an assault marine all right the backpack is just the same as the backpack on the sergeant um you know which is called sergeant otherwise no differences and in terms of painting i already mentioned that you know uh, they should actually put the wash on the rivet on the bolts on the armor so it looks better uh but they don't do that and also i don't like the white highlighting on the race edges on the black armor because as i mentioned the white doesn't look good in black two opposing contrast colors 
So it should, they should use a more metallic silverish color. So making it looks much better. So, uh, but otherwise, I have no more comments. One thing that I did not do in my last the Spoiler Scott video um, was to compare the size differences between the first one and the Prime Ranch Space Marine. I haven't done that, so let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna take two of these out at the back and I put these two in there. Interesting, it looks like this first spawn Space Marine is actually bigger than Primarch. Uh, okay, I think they're wearing the Mark III armor, but it is unlikely, so I'm not too sure what is happening here. Depends on how serious you are, you know, some of you may say, oh look, this is supposed to be smaller or bigger, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But this is what Joy Toy gave us, right? Okay, put it this way, if they're too big, yeah, great, you paid for the money, you get extra plastic. Right, <laughs> anyway, I've got no more comments on this. After reviewing the uh, Breacher Scott figures, I noticed that I shouldn't really spend money on the, the Spoiler Scott because the Spoiler Scott, right, is virtually the same figures, um, but it just doesn't have the shield, you know, the hammer, siege weapons that the Breacher Scott has. So I think the Breacher Scott is, you know, a better figure. In my opinion, right? I think the price wise, I think a little bit more expensive. I'm not really sure. I couldn't remember now. And um, my conclusion is pretty much the same as to this Spotter Scott. Um, I'll give it 8 out of 10. Uh, the painting, again, needs a bit of work. Also, the quality of plastic seems a little bit different from the uh, Ultramarines 40k figures that I got. And I already mentioned the reasons in the, uh, this Spotter Scott video. And I do not really recommend the, the Spotter Scott now after you know reviewing these figures. And I actually like these figures much more. And since they are similar figures, just don't bother to buy the Spotter Scott, get the Breach Scott. It's just much better. And please subscribe to my channel and give me a like on the videos. If, as I mentioned before, the viewership of my videos has been really low in recent three months. So your support is very important to keep me going. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.